Hello, uh, welcome to my latest video. I've uh, taken a break from the landscapes and uh, back on the birds. I really do like doing birds. This time it's this rather incredible creature. I'm not sure of the breed. It's a cockerel, but which breed? I really don't know. And I would love to know, so if you do, uh, please leave a comment. I'll be much, it'll be much appreciated, thanks. Now this uh, painting was done entirely with the uh, the Arteza 60 colour set. If you uh, saw my uh, Iguana painting, you know Arteza actually gave me these paintings. They didn't pay me to do a review of them, they just gave me them, for, which is much appreciated. But the last Iguana, I just used the, uh, the metallic set. This time I've had a, my first go at the, uh, the pure acrylics, and uh, I must say, I quite like them. So see see what you think. Uh, if you like the video, please uh, like and subscribe. It really helps. And uh, I'll see you on the other side. As you can see, I've uh, printed out a black and white version of it of the photo, and uh, just did some basic tracing, only the main lines, as. Uh, the blocking stage will obliterate most of it, so there's no point in uh, tracing every little detail. You'll have to put those in by eye later. The background's not a total flat colour, so I'm uh, playing with uh, various colours and putting them in there to make a bit of a texture out of it. And when that's done, I've, uh, I'm blocking in the uh, cockerel in its main colours which are just black and red the red is uh, closest to the, the overall colour I can see which on this cockle is very red indeed A little dab of yellow on that red for the eye, as the eye's got a slight orange tinge to it. And now over the red, I've uh, using basically the same colour with a, a little darker added to it, and starting to establish all the folds and creases in this cockle's head. Still keeping it quite crude at this stage. I will slowly establish the details and here I'm mapping out all the thousands of little bumps on this uh, cockle's head I'm not um, placing these uh, bumps in, in exactly the same as the photo, I'm just uh, giving an impression. There's no need to uh, be that precise as every cockerel's bumps are bound to be different. I'm calling them bumps, uh, but there's probably a technical term for it. I just um, washed over a bit of red to unify those uh, those lighter bumps, and now I'm uh, going to establish the uh, the eye details and the beak details. Get those to a finished state, and then I can play with the uh, the rest of the head. The eye. Uh, always looks flat at this stage just copying the, the colors in the reference photo is, is, is as exactly as I can and then the last stage you put the highlight on and 
which I'm just doing now, and uh, that always magically uh, brings the uh, eye to life. The beak is done in the same sort of way. I'm look, looking closely at the reference photo, trying to match the colours and just put them down in the same place. Just looking for shapes and colours. And this cockerel, cockerel's beak, is covered in what looks like debris from feeding. I'm not entirely sure that's what it is, but it looks like it. You often see this on birds. Right, now I'm continuing establishing these uh, little bumps all over the, the head. And I'm uh, painting the highlights and then I'll wash over the whole thing with another colour to flatten it all down and keep going as many times as I feel necessary. When I say I'll, I'm washing over with a colour, what I mean is I'm taking the, the main colour of the the head and uh, diluting it massively with water so uh, it's very transparent another washer red that goes on there And then back to re-establishing the, these highlights. Doing it in layers like this just build up the texture quite nicely. Here I've decided the uh, the red's a bit too dark, so I'm putting a wash of white over to lighten everything. And a little bit of a red wash here because I went too far. And once again back to establishing the, the highlights. Now I've decided I've done enough with the highlights and so all these bumps are getting a little shadow area around them and that helps them sort of uh, stand out a bit better. Now the final stage is the, the feathers. So I've just got pure black on the brush and I'm just painting lines where the feathers go. And I've got a blue colour here for the, the highlights of the feathers. There's a strong tendency for highlights on black to appear blue. And when the, uh, the lightest parts goes on, like the eye, it all uh, comes to life. Thank you for watching to the end. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, next time I'm going to change things a little. There'll still be this the time lapse video like I'm like here, though I won't be commenting through it. I'll just put some music. So that'd be for people who would just like to see a video, uh, well, not a video, a painting developed. And I will do a second video for the same painting with lots of it in uh, 
real time and I'll just cut sections out and there be for more more instructional so you can choose which style of video you like. Uh, thank you.